Some of the Marvel superheroes are so powerful that it's easy to forget not all of them have the same level of strength. The MCU works both with special powered people as well as those who have no powers but instead use their training to fight crime. In both cases, the heroes are sometimes less powerful than they are in the comics. This can lead to the fans being disappointed, especially if they expected their favorite superheroes would do the same amazing things they do in the comics. However, in many cases, making the hero less powerful is necessary for the story or otherwise, they would solve the problem they face in the MCU too fast. Before continuing, make sure you subscribe to this channel, because there is a lot of interesting information, don't miss it. While Gamera's powers are impressive on the big screen as well, especially her fighting skills, she's still much more powerful in the comics. Not only does she have enhanced strength, speed, and durability on a similar level as Adam Warlock, the comic book Gamera also gained healing powers at one point. Add to it her martial arts knowledge and she fully deserves her title of the most dangerous woman in the galaxy in the comics. The MCU version of Gamera, unfortunately, died in Avengers Infinity War, 2018, but thanks to time travel, Gamera could appear again and show what she can really do. Gamera isn't the only member of the Guardians of the Galaxy who's underpowered in the MCU. So is Drax. In the movies, Drax is a resilient strongman whose battle spirit leads him to fight all sorts of enemies. However, he has more than just his strength on his side in the comics and doesn't primarily serve as comedic relief. The comic book Drax can shoot energy blasts from his palms and has telepathic abilities which eventually allow him to track Thanos and know where the Mad Titan is at the moment. That would have come in handy during the Infinity War but instead, Drax was unable to defeat Thanos, just like all the other heroes failed. Quicksilver's sudden death was a surprise for many fans of the MCU, especially those who also like the comics. The reason is simple, the comic book Quicksilver is so fast he can run at Mach 10, and he also thinks fast, so he wouldn't let something like a set of bullets stop him. Even if Hawkeye's life was still on the line, the comic book Quicksilver would have most likely thought of another solution that would have saved them both. So in the end, Quicksilver's sacrifice in the MCU is touching, but it doesn't quite make sense when compared to what the readers know about the character. Hulk's strength is over the charts in the comics. The MCU version, on the other hand, has its limits, as witnessed in Infinity War. The comic book Hulk would have fared better in fighting Thanos. The only possible explanation is that Bruce Banner unknowingly held his real strength back all the time because he's traumatized by Hulk and knows what he can do. Then again, Bruce had no problem using Hulk's strength to his advantage when he fought Thor in Thor Ragnarok, 2017. Of course, the MCU can't have Hulk solve every problem with one smash of his mighty fists or the movies would be much shorter than they are. Another superhero who could have easily handled Thanos, in theory, is Thor. The God of Thunder was able to defeat the Mad Titan in the comics, as well as other highly powerful characters, such as the Silver Surfer. Thor is strong, almost invulnerable, and also can control the elements, all of which make him one of the strongest Marvel superheroes. He can even destroy entire planets, should he choose to do so. 
Once again, underpowering Thor makes sense from a storytelling point of view because if he was as strong in the MCU as he's in the comics, he would have been able to solve most problems before they truly begin. Depending on which comic book storyline the fans read, Black Widow sometimes has special powers. In the MCU, Natasha was born in the 1980s but in the comics, one version of the character is only slightly younger than Steve Rogers and was given a different version of the Super Soldier Serum which prolonged her life, causing her to age slower. This also means that the comic book Black Widow has enhanced strength and speed, unlike her on-screen counterpart, who's a very well-trained fighter, but not enhanced in a way similar to Captain America. While the difference between the MCU Falcon and the comic book one isn't as obvious as with other heroes, it still exists. In the MCU, Falcon doesn't have the power to enter into birds' minds and see through their eyes. His red wing is also a real bird in the comics and Falcon can communicate with him. Meanwhile, in the MCU, Sam Wilson has no special powers and relies on technology to get the job done, just like Tony Stark, for example. The most probable reason why Falcon doesn't his powers in the MCU is because they were gifted to him by Professor X in the comics and Charles Xavier has yet to appear in the cinematic universe. That's MCU superheroes that are much more powerful in the comics than in the movies. Are you agree? Don't forget to drop the comment below and give your opinion about that. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment to give me the power to make other interesting videos.